going on? It's a little darker here today. Damn, it's usually bright as fuck or whatever. <laughs> but I'm under shade, so what's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about rebounds. Are you a rebound? Okay. Now, here's the thing. Actually, before we get started, if you can, uh, click the red button, subscribe. I love you forever. I'm trying to get those subscribers up. But I want to jump right into this one, okay? Here's the thing with being a rebound. I think it's easy to figure out. It's just hard to admit. A lot of you are coming to me asking, you know, I see in the comments and emails and all that stuff if you're a rebound. And from what I'm seeing, a lot of you are, you just don't want to fully admit it. Like, you, you want to be sure, okay? And what the hell is it? Hold on. Something's coming up here. Okay. You know, and you, you want to be sure. And here in this video, I'm going to help you be sure with it, okay? So here's the thing. I say it comes down to four things. It's not just one thing by itself. It's stacking them, okay? So if you're if it's just one thing, then you know maybe this guy's just low ego, or he's this, or he's that. But if it's two or three of these things out of the four, then maybe uh, I would say you have a problem with being a rebound. And the number one thing is obviously the guy got out of a relationship. Now, when I say got out of a relationship, I don't mean month one, month two, month three. No, I would say within six months he's he's got out of a relationship, okay? So if you're dating a guy who just got out of a relationship uh, within the last six months, then maybe you're a rebound, okay? That's the first criteria, obviously. The second, I would say, so the first one's a must. Like, you must have the first one, obviously, okay? If you didn't, then you wouldn't be a rebound. So the second one is sex. Now, here's the thing with it. Women overthink this. You know, is he always talking about sex? Now, women like to justify themselves because they have a like bias towards the guy. They try to justify that he's not a bad guy, that, you know, oh, you know, we don't always have sex or we don't always talk about sex. You know, the other day he took me out and we didn't do anything. That's not what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Is he pretty sexual with you? If he's pretty sexual with you and he's got out of a relationship, there's a sign that you might be a rebound. And if he says you're not, here's an automatic sign. If he's, if you ask if you're a rebound and he says no, you're an automatic rebound. Two reasons why. One, don't ever agree with, or don't ever, uh, you know, think what a guy says is true bullshit. You know, it's bullshit. Complete bullshit. Secondly, the fact that you asked it lowered your value and puts you as a rebound, okay? So if you asked if you're a rebound, he said no, then congratulations, you're a rebound. Uh, the third reason I would say is he's, you know, he, when he's happy, he neglects you, like he pulls away, like he doesn't need you. But when he's sad, he comes around. So, you know, if this guy's always in a good mood and stuff and you don't hear from him for a while, that says something. But if he's in a bad mood, or he's sad, or you know he's thinking about his girlfriend, or something comes up, you know, then he automatically calls you or hangs out with you, whatever, whatever it is. Then that's a sign you're a rebound. He's using you to fill a void, okay? And again, with that on top of always hooking up, always or just being out of a relationship, that's a sign you're a rebound. And finally, which kind of goes with the last one, he does everything on his convenience. If you haven't heard from him in a couple of days, or you're always reaching out to him, he's never reaching out to you, or whenever he's reaching out to you, he, he reaches out, and you guys eventually have sex, or you talk about something sexual, that is a big, big sign that you are a rebound. Again, it's not hard to find out if you're a rebound or not. It's hard to admit it because you don't want to admit it. You're like, this shit was real. I really like this guy. You know, it's the wrong timing. It sucks. I cannot believe I'm a rebound. I, You know, I just really liked him. That's bullshit. There's no way I could be a rebound, right? That's what a lot of women think. But, you know, a, a big portion of, you know, guys who just get out of relationships, their egos are damaged and they want to find a way to build it back up. And they don't mean for a woman to be a rebound, but here's the thing. He might think you're a decent woman, but he just doesn't want a relationship with you. And I know when I say this, you guys are going to be messaging me. You guys are going to be writing the comments. So, so should I wait it out? Should I wait it out? No, you shouldn't wait it out. The guy puts you in a category, okay? He does... If he wanted, it, see, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if the guy broke up with his, or the guy and the girl broke up, and then he meets you. Uh, if he really likes you, then you, it doesn't matter if it's the next day. It doesn't matter if it's a week from now, uh, 
three months from now, six months from now, nine months from now, if he really, 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 really liked you, you would be his girlfriend, okay? You still have, value trumps everything, okay? Value trumps everything. Girlfriend material trumps everything. So if he got out of a relationship with this girl and you were ideal, you would be his girlfriend. It would be no, you know, it, there'd be no, let's, you know, but let's just see how it goes. I just got out of a relationship. I just this, I just that. No, if you're Jennifer Aniston, you would be in that relationship with that guy. You would not be a rebound. You would be the uh, the upgrade, okay? There's the rebound. There's the upgrade. But if he doesn't want to commit to you, if he doesn't want to do this, he doesn't want to do that, he's doing it for his convenience, or he's making excuses on why he doesn't want to be your boyfriend, then guess what? You're a rebound. That's what you have to admit to yourself. You know, don't say, oh, I, you know, maybe I should wait a little longer and see, you know, make him feel, you know, he'll feel better. He'll do this. He'll No, you're a rebound, okay? I'm sorry to say it, he puts you in that category. You know, you he probably wouldn't even be talking to you that much anyway if you weren't a rebound, okay? Because if you were ideal, then he would be dating you. You would be his girlfriend right now. I know that's harsh, but it's the reality. So with that being said, ladies, I'm sorry if you feel like you're a rebound. But um, what are you going to do, right? Love you. Take care and peace.